Earth Day is five days away, and with the onset of the coronavirus pandemic affecting the entire planet, you could say that Mother Nature is experiencing a bit of a reset. Stay-at-home orders have grounded flights, left highways deserted, and significantly cut manufacturing, and that has helped reduce pollutants in the air. Looking at just the northeast United States, new data this week from NASA shows that air pollution has dropped 30 percent over the past several weeks. Amazing. Joining us now is Dr. Joantha O. B. Sakara, I hope I got that right, director of FIU's Sea Level Solutions Center. And let's talk about how this is impacting Florida. We're glad to have you with us. How does this affect energy use in general? In general, uh, as you know, when people stay at home or work from home, or as you call it, telecommute, um, the offices don't have to use much energy. We don't use the air conditioning, maybe less water, uh, and less waste in the offices. So. Uh, in general, the, the energy used by the businesses and uh, probably um, educational institutions and governmental agencies will be much less. Now, you might think that the, um, the residential energy we use will go up, but uh, the research has shown that the net benefit on energy savings is greater when people telecommute or work from home. Well, obviously, all you have to do is drive on the Palmetto Expressway, I-95, and you see the difference. Doctor, what are the potential impacts of this on air quality? Yeah, that is a big uh, benefit uh, in terms of um, reduction in pollution. As you mentioned, um, in the uh, U.S., in the East Coast, uh, there's a 30 percent reduction in what we call the nitrogen dioxide levels as measured by NASA, and, and that is an, uh, an indicator of human activity. And it's dramatic change in the pollution levels, not only in the United States, but all over the world. And that's a significant gain that we never thought uh, we could achieve because so many people are working from home. And obviously, we love the water here in South Florida. What about the impacts on water resources? Yeah, that is not as uh, direct as you would think, but, uh, you know, if you see the Biscayne Bay, as you can see your pictures, the water is very clear. And, and what happens is, as you know, with all these cars driving on the highways, all that chemicals will end up in our uh, f uh, waterways and eventually in, in the oceans and, and the bay. And that itself is bad for the for the water quality in, in in the ocean, and and in general, in the dry season when there is not much rain, usually the water quality is better, but with less pollutants on the road, even if we have a rain event, I think less pollutants will go into the water bodies and the water quality will improve. So that's another benefit uh, of. Uh, of working from home and driving less on the roadways. And doctor, what is the effect of telecommuting on climate change? That is one of the most dramatic things that we see. Significant reduction in uh, carbon dioxide emissions or what we call greenhouse gases. As you know, the the when you drive less or less transportation and electricity generation, uh, the greenhouse gas in gases in the atmosphere will reduce significantly. And transportation is one of the biggest contributors to greenhouse gases. Uh, it's about 27 percent in the country. In South Florida, if you look at the energy use in the commercial and residential businesses and transportation, transportation accounts for like 50 percent of the um, greenhouse gas emission. So with less cars on the roads, less uh, transportation activity, there's a significant benefit to uh, reduction in uh, greenhouse gases, which means uh, that's a positive effect on the climate change that, um, that we are observing. And, and also basically slowing down the, the warming and the effect of climate change in the long run. But unfortunately, if this is short-lived, we may not see that benefit after a while. But I think um, it's a good time to think about maybe we should have some telecommuting uh, going forward. 
All right, doctor, thank you very much for all that useful information. It was very nice of you to join us tonight.